Okay, I'm going to show you how to import video from an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 3. And uh, in, import the video into Premiere Elements, do a very quick edit, and export as a 720p QuickTime. So, first thing we're going to do is launch Adobe Premiere Elements. I go New Project. And uh, I want to give it a name. I'm going to call this Marty. And uh, Marty Office... Uh, today is the first day of the second month of the 11th year, and uh, I'll call it whatever, video. So, and where am I going to save it? As a good habit, I always hit browse, and on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this Marty in his office video project. It's good just to create a folder on your desktop, and that's the folder where you're going to put everything. Just have one kind of home base folder that you make, and everything you save, everything you download is going to go into that one folder. That just makes your life a lot easier for later. Now, for settings, because we're shooting on an iPhone, this in this case it's an iPhone 4, I'm choosing a Flip Minnow HD 2997. These settings are closest to the settings for your iPhone 4, so you should use these settings. And uh, we're going to hit OK. And OK. So it loads up. Now I'm going to go here to Get Media. Get Video from Flip Camera and Phones. Oh, by the way, my iPhone is plugged into my computer, of course. I plugged my iPhone in with the USB cable to my computer. Okay, so the list comes up, the list of videos on my iPhone comes up here. If it doesn't, you can select from this list. Now, save in. I want these files. By default, they're going to save in my pictures. I am going to tell them to save in this folder that I created on my desktop. Okay. I'm now going to go, uh, by default, it wants to save it as, you know, the default file name. I'm going to say custom file name, Marty, just so that I give it some kind of a name. And uh, by default, it wants to be add to timeline. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it to plunk all my videos into the timeline. You can also tell it to delete original after, uh, so you can delete the video off your phone once you've copied it if you want. Now I'm going to go uncheck all because I don't want all of these videos. And I'm just going to check these ones here, videos we recorded of Marty. And uh, I'm going to hit Get Media and wait for them to copy. The iPhone copies at about 12 megabytes per second. So uh, you can do the math. You know, if you shot a lot of video, it's going to take a little while to copy over. OK, just to speed things up, I only uh, copied in one video file. So uh, basic layout is here are my uh, files. When you go to Get Media Import Files, you can select the project that you want to see your files in. So here I just have these two video files. So this video file came from my iPhone. This is a video file that I made separately. This video file is just three seconds, just fades into my name like that. Just three second video clip of my name. I made this in Final Cut Pro, but you could make it in, in Paint or whatever. Uh, and then here is just uh, 14 seconds I shot just in Office, just test video. So. Uh, I take this video, this is my video here, I double click on it, and let's say, this video is 14 seconds, whatever, uh, I, it plays just like a normal video, click on the tab, move left to right, just like any video you've ever played, but let's say I don't want this entire video clip, let's say I only wanted, say, from here, so I want my video to start here, I go set in, and then I move my video head to here, say I want my video to end here hit out. I only, I only want to go from here to here. I can hit set in or push I on my keyboard and set out or hit O on my keyboard. Now I've only selected the area from here to here. I click, hold, drag that clip down to my timeline like that, bam. And now, and let's say I then wanted this segment, say I wanted my video to go from say here to here. Pretend like these are little razor blades, okay? And this is a strip of film, and I've just snipped from here to here. 
in, out, click, drag it down, get out of there. Now, in my timeline here, I can zoom in or out on my video, and I can move left and right, okay? Now, let's say take this clip here, just a three-second video, click, drag it down, plunk it in like that, and there. Now, this window up here previews what's down there. So now you can see my video goes from here, first video clip, second video clip, and then goes into my name like that. If I want to say have a fade, I would go here to edit and uh, transitions. And I want just, there's like a million different fades here. Don't do cheesy fades. The only fade you need is a cross dissolve. Cross dissolve, click, drag, drop the cross dissolve between the two videos. And now it has a nice fade or should, whatever, it'll fade into this video now. Notice this turned black, that's because you have, has, oh sorry, it turned red, it's because it has to be rendered. I can hit Control R on my keyboard, or go Timeline, actually I guess Enter, or go Timeline, Render Work Area, and it will render these frames so I can preview them. But anyways, that's basically it, you just go to your files, you go in and out, you drag the files you want, the clips you want down, drag in your nameplate that you made, and that's it. So say this is our video, okay? There, so he has a nice fade. Uh, this is the video we want. I'm all done. I hit save my video. I'm done editing it. I now go to share. I go down here to share to a computer file. I go down to QuickTime. QuickTime video and give it a name. I'm going to call it Marty Office Edit 720p or whatever. And where do I want to save it? I want to save it in this project that I created on my desktop. And uh, I have made a template for myself called 720p for the platform on YouTube. Oh, I've kind of given a name to Marty Office 720p and I would hit save. And if you already know what these presets are, you can finish watching the video now, but I will show you what settings I use. These are the settings that are best for uh, YouTube HD, or this is kind of what we export at the Edmonton Journal, typically. I'm gonna go to advanced. Uh, I've, and basically my video codec is H.264, quality is 100%, 1280 by 720 video, Frame weight, frame rate is 2997, progressive, square, keyframe every 30 frames, um, optimize, limit data rate to 5000K, under audio, AAC, 44.1, mono, unless you're using a stereo mic and you have actual stereo sounds happening, there's no reason to be stereo um, because the human voice is mono and if 90% of your videos are just people talking, then you don't need stereo. And uh, there you go, so those are the settings I use. I you know, create a new preset name for that and hit OK. And there we go, now I hit save. And video will export. And when the video is done exporting, it will be saved in my, on my desktop in this project I created. And I, when this video is done exporting, I would take this and I would drag it onto the server or I'd upload it to YouTube or whatever. The end.